It's a great day with that dark stuff filling up my favorite cup. How you call feeling? How you call feeling? How you call feeling now? Yeah. Welcome to How You Call Feeling, and it's another beautiful Sunday morning. How else would I want to spend my weekend than to try out a new nice cup of coffee? And today I'll be drinking Black Acres Coffee's Midnight Train Blend. Mm. Just based off the cover, it being a dark roast already sounds delicious. And so Black Acres Roastery is based in Baltimore, Maryland. As a Cleveland Browns fan, I won't hold that against them. But, and as you can see, I'm uh, celebrating the return of the NBA season in the bubble by wearing my 2016 Cleveland Cavaliers NBA champion t-shirts. A nice memory, you can see the names and the t-shirt is really deteriorating because most of these guys are not on the team anymore. And great to see that the Cavaliers not even good enough to make it into the bubble. But let's hope they're keeping safe at home without getting COVID-19 and working towards maybe continuing to not win a championship in the future. Anyway, back to Black Acres Roastery. They're an artisan coffee roaster located in the Highland Town District of Baltimore. Every roast, we strive to bring out the best qualities in unique coffees from around the world. We ethically source beans and curate roasting profiles that provide each cup of coffee a story. Goes on, you know, what you'd expect from a roastery and how it uh, brags about its nature, but that's fantastic. That's what we want to support local roasteries, especially in these times with COVID-19. This is once again a black owned business. On the back they stamp, stay woke, an excellent marketing phrase for a black owned business, uh, as well as a coffee company, obviously. Unfortunately, I'm not the hugest fan of the phrase, if only because Yet another thing white people grabbed a hold of and just ran with. Stay woke, please. Last thing I want to hear from white people is stay woke. But from a black owned business that's into coffee, definitely let's stay woke. So now let's go ahead and give the Midnight Train Blend a try. Oh wow, that is delicious. Ooh, very smooth going down. Wonderful little dark roast kick at the end. Whoa, the train is coming into the station and it is delicious. Mm. So yeah, I am really enjoying this midnight train blend. I'll continue to enjoy it on this beautiful morning. A nice fact about Black Acres Roastery. So. I, of course, ordered this online to be shipped uh, from Baltimore to me. Excellent customer service on their end. In these times of COVID-19, ordered it on a Saturday, arrived to me on a Wednesday. So for a local coffee shop to be able to do that, they also deliver in the Baltimore area. Um, so really seems like an excellent local business that's supportive of uh, their locality in Baltimore, as well as efficiently and quickly getting out coffee to anyone around the country. I really appreciated it. This price is at $17, tastes great. Another great thing is that if you order at least $30 of coffee on their website, uh, the shipping is free. And so that's why I ordered two bags. We'll have the second bag as another review uh, for our next video. But for now, the Midnight Train Blend, ah, just delicious. So really enjoyed it, really enjoyed supporting Black Acres in Baltimore, despite, you know, the fact they're probably Ravens fans. Yeah. So, to answer the question, how you caught feeling? Come on, ride the train. Choo choo! How you caught feeling? How you caught feeling now?